Now I get to work on the driver's door. And I hate doing things twice, so just getting done with the passenger door and now doing the same thing to the driver. And it feels like I'm doing the same thing twice. But uh, I'm going to try and see how quick I can get this thing done since I've already done it once. You don't have to sit and research and think. I know what I'm looking for before I'm doing it this time. So hopefully it should be easier. And for some reason this door is wider, thicker than the other side. So I shouldn't have the challenges as far as fitting the window down inside of it. And uh, I don't know, it just seems to fit better so far. Fits better up here. Uh, still gonna have to do something over here with how it fits up to the quarter glass poking out more at the top than it is the bottom when I've got the rest of the door lined up the way I want so I'll have to cut that apart fix that and I've been trying to think of the best way to attack this thing And the first thing I did was just get the door to hang in the hole and basically just mount it up right here with the bolts, um, get it sitting in the door without the latch or anything, without securing it on this end, just let this end flap around. <clears throat> Bolt that up, get it to where the door shuts, it looks pretty good and then once you get that far oh by the way before I even put this in I cut this thing I'd cut it apart put some slices on the end so when I open that up it's gonna have room to shut and then after I get this in the right spot I'll end up tack welding that and then take it out and weld it for good so yeah, I'd get the uh, get that side bolted up first. Get the door where it shuts, and uh, you got to pay attention to the inside gap right here, because the first time I hung this thing up here, had it sitting in a good spot. Um, when this part shut that gap right there was pretty much closed <clears throat> and you got to have room for the glass the door glass in between here so that door has to go back and you're trying to even up this gap all the way around the door with the door sill here it's like I said earlier if you're going to try and seal that up, you want those to be as even as possible. That's going to give you the best chance of putting some kind of rubber seal in there and get it to be tight and even all the way around. So once you get uh, the door even in the hole <clears throat> and you get it to where it's hanging where you want, uh, the top and the bottom of the door will move a lot because you don't have it secured here. Just go ahead and let that flop around. And then uh, most people are going to have their latch on this side compared to what I did. So just get your latch mounted in here and get this side tied down. Get the twist in there you want. And then get it to shut again and you may have to move it up or down a little bit after you get that secured so get the up and down part and uh, you know after you get it bolted and lined up then get the latch in it 
And that's where I'm at right now. Got it kind of in a raw form, just got it bolted, lined up. Did a little bit of trimming, as little as possible, for the gap. And then get your latches in, get it to where it shuts, and then it's time to worry about the glass. So that's where I'm at now. So I went ahead and put a slice in the post right here so it will match the contour of the rest of the car and so I evenly spaced the quarter glass kind of mocked up where I want that to be and then make sure that the door has got the right twist in it and uh, you know so you're going all the way up a hundred percent up that vertical line there making sure that fits the contour of the body and the glass and I put a slice in there and this side's not going to take much of a bend so I've got that held in place with some vice grips and I like to use my cutoff wheel to grind that down it puts a nice edgy bite into that glass ground it all the way down through the first layer into the second layer and then this side's just paper thin and I'll go ahead and get that glassed up and and then I'll do the inside of it um, then you're, at that point you're pretty much committed to the shape of the door and on the front part of it I'm matching the other side I want to keep an even gap right here so that's how I set up the front I cleaned up this edge a little bit before I even started that way I have a better idea of where to adjust it and then this part up here you gotta kinda make on your own to make it match So I'll get that part done. So now I got the door sitting there where I want it. And uh, time to put the glass in there. <clears throat> On the other door, I fought for a long time trying to get that glass to fit before I realized that it, the hole doesn't fit the glass at all. So this time before I even get busy trying that I put the glass up in there and this spot right here is pretty high and so if you push on the top and bottom the glass would wobble right there there's no way it ever would have sealed so I just sliced down through there now this thing can move wherever it needs to and I put the glass up there and drew a line around it and that would have been the top line and you could see where it was tied up against the body versus where it was sticking up way high and then after I sliced that put the glass on there let that bend in now it's uh, I drew a second line and it's down tight all the way there's a little bit of a gap down in here which I'll probably bring that up just to touch in here <clears throat> and then I'll grind that down and glass it from the back and then do it again from the top but that way I'll be starting from a nice level uh, you know contoured fit to the glass so I won't be fighting that this time so that should save me a whole bunch of days compared to last time when I did it Yeah, so check that out. That's what it looked like after uh, I sliced that. I actually held the glass in there, taped it up in there, put a couple vice grips, right, one right here and one down here to hold that glass. And then uh, I got inside and put some fiberglass in here 
and then put the heat to it got it to kick off and you can see right here where that piece of glass was so anyways I have the perfect contour right now right there uh, fits up against that hole all the way around nice and flush I'll bring it out just a little bit right there that kind of goes in a touch but that's going to save me a ton of time right there I wish I would have done that to begin with the, with the other side so now I'm getting the window in there and this is pretty tricky to try and figure out where you want to start off you know and I took the cables out and the motor out and I'm thinking it's easier for me to get this thing lined up and get it set up where it needs to be without the cables in there <clears throat> so I started with this one this time last time I put this one in there and kind of tied that together um, but on this side this one pretty much has to go in one spot compared to this one now that can be moved in a lot of places and still work this one here you're kind of limited by this pocket down here in the bottom of the door that's got to get down in there as far as it can go so I started off with this side I got that down in there as far as I would go and then kind of a pick, picked an angle to where it stopped um, you know basically brought that angle up as far as I can if you get too much of an angle the other way when your windows up and it's rolling down you want it to go down as much as you can rather than that way so the angle of these uh, tracks needs to be as vertical as you can again to keep that window from rolling down into this stuff here so if you start off yeah so if you start off by uh, mounting this part first and then tie it in up here get this thing solid and then it's easier to roll the you know then it's easier to start guessing where you want the other side this part is really uh, a back and forth type of thing you just got to have a lot of patience on this part try to get it to roll up and down without uh, tying any of it down you know and then just go little by little tie one spot down at a time move it up and down and then I went ahead and I'm gonna mount this up like I did the other side I like how I um, got this bracket on here and all I gotta do is pop rivet it from the bottom and it's just gonna be a cleaner install and I may put tabs on here and bolt it down to this frame again so that thing isn't moving around I don't know this side here I just took my channel locks and bent that thing so that may end up being flush where I can just put some pop rivets right through the bottom of that thing you know two or three pop rivets on there and get that side stuck in there and then on the top took some nylon nylon tubes and put a slice in the middle of that because this tracks at quite an angle and I I don't know what you call these little bolts but one side is just a tube and then the other side it has a threaded screw that goes into that tube and I'm just grinding off the edge of that that thing to give me the length I want along with the nylon yeah, and that helps secure this thing in here at a good spot you know and it's something I could take apart and put back together whenever I want so that works good like that so yeah I got a little bit more messing around with these window tracks and then I'll put the motor and the cables back in it and um, get it to roll up and down on my seal after that works and I'll start fine-tuning this edge getting that part done and then I gotta get the moldings in here and make sure it all works with these moldings so 
and still put the channel in here like I have the other side. So still a little bit of work to go. Um, this is Saturday morning. If I get this thing done by Sunday night, that'll be just one week working on this door. I've been working on it throughout the week. I got a couple hours in the morning, a couple hours at night that I've been working on it and then this weekend. So we'll see if I can get this thing done in a week. Well, I finally got the door done. There's the inside of it and I had to put the motor in a different spot compared to the other side. These bars are closer together and the motor wouldn't fit in between but it would fit on the back side. There's enough room in between the glass right there so that worked out fine. And got everything welded up, painted. <clears throat> got these bars welded up, painted. And put it back together. Made sure it lined up. Came out pretty good. Glass goes all the way down inside there. I welded some stops, you know, so it goes down and tucks right up inside the rubber. So that's nice. And I got the gaps set up a little bit tighter on this side. <clears throat> didn't want to get the other side too close until I got this side done and make sure I was able to do both of them the same way in other words to get the same gaps over here and you know have it come out the same side to side the same gap down here have this come out at the same spot you know so <clears throat> That'll be the same side to side, so I want to. Went ahead and took it a little bit farther. And I got this lined up pretty good for the glass. That seal's real nice. That's up against there, really flat. Nice, even pressure all the way around. So that looks good. I got the channel stuck inside here and the rubber just barely pokes out. So that looks like it's uh, made to be. And I did get the door card out, stuck it up there, made sure that was going to fit, made sure this contour was going to fit and it does made sure that was going to clear inside it does so looks like I can finally move forward and uh, start working on the nose getting the lights in there the carbon fiber splitter uh, the vents and making sure the windshield wiper will fit in there with the glass and start putting on the roof scoop you know and that kind of thing and hopefully this next part of the build will start moving a little bit quicker so looking forward to that these doors were kind of a pain but they both turned out pretty good and after I get the nose done and get the hood where it lines up on next to the door and the body, you know, I'll go over to the other side and fine tune the gaps on the other side, make them nice and tight like I did over here for the other door. And then I'll move backward, um, start getting the body work done on all that stuff and someday I'll be able to start bolting parts on the chassis 